welcome back to my channel and if you are new here welcome um today's just going to be a quick video it's just a review um on the Shein press end nails that I did a short on you can view it on my channel um I recently bought some Shein press on nails to try out because you know um you know, everybody has their lazy days and not everybody feels like doing their nails sometimes. I'm guilty of it. I don't always feel like putting on a set and painting them. And I figured that um, press on nails would be um, an easier way to go sometimes um, if I just want a quick day. So I decided to buy a couple um, press on nails from Shein. Um, they were fairly cheap. I want to say they were all under $2. This set I'm going to be talking about today. Well, you can see them on my nails. This is a cloud set. Some of them have little diamonds on them. Um, they come with extra ones in the box. I think it's like 24. And the nail file. And they also come with the sticky tabs. They do not come with glue in any of the boxes. So far in any of the press on nail kits that I got, uh, none of them come with glue. So you do have to purchase your own nail glue if you plan on gluing on your press on nails. So I did glue these on. Um, I was trying to keep these on for at least a week. Um, so I did a little test run. I put these on yesterday. Um, I do work in a bakery. If you guys ever remember hearing me say that in past videos. So I do work with my hands every day. Uh, I work with frosting bags, food. I'm constantly washing my hands. I'm opening up boxes. Um, my hands take a beating every single day. Um, which is why I do my nails and I don't normally wear press-ons because I hear that they usually pop off quickly. Um, this is day two. Today is the second day and one broke off today at work. Um, yesterday, day one, was my day off when I put them on. So I didn't do much housework. I didn't do too much. I do have pets that I have to take care of. I do do a lot of housework when I am home on my days off. So my hands take a beating at home also. So, you know, yesterday was an easy day at home. Um, so the true test was going to work today. Um, I was opening up boxes. I did have cakes to make today. I did wash my hands a couple times. Um, I went to work at 8 in, in the morning. I want to say by noon. Um, this nail snapped right off like butter. It was really easy. I'm not throwing any shade at Shein. I still love Shein. I'm still probably going to purchase more of their press on nails. Um, the only thing I did with these was put on uh, a clear coat of UV gel, clear uh, coat, um, to see if that would harden them up a little bit and give them strength. Um, apparently it wasn't enough. Um, I've heard people put putting a hard gel and acrylic over press on nails to give them more strength maybe I will try that next time around I believe I do have some builder gel in my collection so maybe I will try that next time around because I do would, would like to get a, at least a good week out of my press-ons I know press-ons are not meant to be for um, long-term use so I'm I'm not mad about it but I was just hoping I'd get more than two days you guys out of these um the other thing that I have about them, my other little qualm is um, these sizes they have. I'm assuming their thumb might be a size one. I am normally a zero on my thumbs and normally zeros in most kits, um, press on nails or even full cover tips off of Amazon or a lot of other companies, their size zeros don't fit my thumbs. I have very wide thumbs. I have chubby hands, as you can see. Um, I have a very hard time fitting my thumbs to any 
nails. So these were kind of hard to fit. They don't look too bad now because I put the clear coat over them so it kind of blended them in. But because these are also um, really C-shaped, these are digging into my thumbs and they are causing them to get really sore and really pink. I'm starting to get little indents if you can see. These are really starting to hurt so I am going to be taking these off tonight. I am going to be trying a glue remover that I got off of Amazon. Um, it's by Kiss. Hopefully I can pop these off. I really don't want to have to go the route of having to soak off. I, that's just, that's such a lengthy process. Um, I love these nails. I thought they were so pretty. I was just hoping to get more than two days out of them. Unfortunately, I didn't. Um, I have other press-ons um, that I did buy from Shan that I'm going to continue testing out. Um, hopefully, I can get a little bit more wear time out of those. Um, I'm going to try to buy some shorter nails. Maybe the shorter nails will do better. These are, this one was bending. These do bend. I, mind you, I did just get done washing dishes, a lot of dishes and doing kitchen work and cooking. So maybe they did soften up a little bit, but, um, the middle finger that snapped off today, um, I didn't wash my hands too much today at work. Um, I didn't go overboard before it snapped off, but, um, these are very, they're more than just flexible. They do bend quite easy. So there is not too much strength to them. So just um, keep that in mind when you are buying the press-ons. I don't want you to shy away from them because maybe you, you don't use your hands that much and you might be able to get a week or two wear time out of these. And girl, go ahead. Go ahead and buy your Shein press-on nails because they are worth it. I mean... They are $2 and under, majority of them, and I think they're worth it. They're absolutely beautiful styles on there. They go from long to really short, um, and I think they're so easy to do. I didn't have to do a lot of prep. I just used a dehydrator and some nail glue, and just, just to shape up my nails, I just filed them down a little bit and buffed. It was so easy to put them on. It was such a short process. I wasn't in my at my nail desk forever doing my nails like three four hours like I normally am so you know if you're looking for a quick day for doing your nails if you have somewhere to be definitely look into the Shein nails I'm definitely not throwing shade at them I absolutely love the nails regardless of the break today um I do use my hands a lot it was bound to happen um but if you guys have any tips and tricks um, with press-on nails um, to give them some more strength so they are not bending like this, um, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to pick up some tips and tricks um, to make these last a little bit longer because I would love to get some more wear time out of them without them breaking off or popping off. Um, I, I, would, I would love the suggestion, so definitely... Um, leave a comment down below but um so that's it for today's video um i just wanted to share my review on them i will probably after i put on a new set we'll be putting up a short and showing you my new set so be on the lookout for that and um that's it for today's video see you later bye